In probability theory, a martingale is a sequence of random variables i.e., a stochastic process for which, at a particular time, the conditional expectation of the next value in the sequence, given all prior values, is equal to the present value. History Originally, Martingale referred to a class of betting strategies that was popular in 18th century France. The simplest of these strategies was designed for a game in which the gambler wins his stake if a coin comes up heads and loses it if the coin comes up tails. The strategy had the gambler double his bet after every loss so that the first win would recover all previous losses plus win a profit equal to the original stake. As the gambler's wealth and available time jointly approach infinity, his probability of eventually flipping heads approaches one, which makes the martingale betting strategy seem like a sure thing. However, the exponential growth of the bets eventually bankrupts its users due to finite bankrolls. Stopped Brownian motion, which is a martingale process, can be used to model the trajectory of such games. The concept of martingale in probability theory was introduced by Paul Levy in 1934, though he did not name it. The term, martingale, was introduced later by Ville 1939, who also extended the definition to continuous martingales. Much of the original development of the theory was done by Joseph Leo Doob among others. Part of the motivation for that work was to show the impossibility of successful betting strategies. Topic definitions A basic definition of a discrete time martingale is a discrete time stochastic process, i.e., a sequence of random variables x1, x2, x3, that satisfies for any time n, e, xn, infinity. Display style math bf e vert x underscore n vert e xn plus 1 x1, xn equals xn. Display style math bf e x underscore n plus 1 mid x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n equals x underscore n that is the conditional expected value of the next observation given all the past observations is equal to the most recent observation Topic martingale sequences with respect to another sequence more generally, a sequence y1, y2, y3, is said to be a martingale with respect to another sequence x1, x2, x3, if for all n e, y n, infinity display style math bf e vert y underscore n vert e y n plus 1 x1, x n equals y n display style math bf e Y underscore N plus one mid x underscore one L dots x underscore N equals Y underscore N. Similarly, a continuous time martingale with respect to the stochastic process xt is a stochastic process yt such that for all t e, yt, infinity display style math bf e vert y underscore t vert e yt x tau tau s equals y s s t display style math bf e y underscore t mid x underscore tau tau l eqs equals y underscore s quad for all s l e q t this expresses the property that the conditional expectation of an observation at time t given all the observations up to time s display style s is equal to the observation at time s of course provided that s t Note that the second property implies that y n display style y underscore n is measurable with respect to x one x n display style x underscore one dots x underscore n. 
Topic general definition in full generality a stochastic process y t times omega s display style y t times omega to s is a martingale with respect to a filtration sigma display style sigma underscore asterisk and probability measure p if sigma is a filtration of the underlying probability space omega sigma p y is adapted to the filtration sigma i e for each t in the index set t, the random variable y t is a sigma t measurable function. For each t, y t lies in the LP space L1 omega sigma t p s i e e p y t plus infinity. Display style math bf e underscore math bf p y underscore t for all s and t with s e p y t minus y s chi f equals zero. Display style math bf e underscore math bf p left y underscore t y underscore s chi underscore f right equals zero, where chi f denotes the indicator function of the event f. In Grimmett and Sturzaker's probability and random processes, this last condition is denoted as y s equals E P Y T Sigma S Display style Y underscore S equals Math BF E underscore Math BF P Y underscore T Sigma underscore S which is a general form of conditional expectation, it is important to note that the property of being a martingale involves both the filtration and the probability measure with respect to which the expectations are taken. It is possible that y could be a martingale with respect to one measure but not another one. The Gersonov theorem offers a way to find a measure with respect to which an Ito process is a martingale. Topic. Examples of martingales An unbiased random walk in any number of dimensions is an example of a martingale. A gambler's fortune capital is a martingale if all the betting games which the gambler plays are fair. To be more specific, suppose xn is a gambler's fortune after n tosses of a fair coin, where the gambler wins $1 if the coin comes up heads and loses $1 if it's tails. The gambler's conditional expected fortune after the next trial, given the history, is equal to his present fortune. This sequence is thus a martingale. Let y n Topic x n two minus n, where x n is the gambler's fortune from the preceding example. Then the sequence y n n one two three is a martingale. This can be used to show that the gambler's total gain or loss varies roughly between plus or minus the square root of the number of steps. De Mavre's martingale now suppose the coin is unfair, i.e., biased, with probability p of coming up heads and probability q equals 1 minus p of tails. Let x n plus 1 equals x n plus or minus 1 Display style x underscore n plus one equals x underscore n p m one with plus in case of heads and minus in case of tails. Let y n equals q p x n Display style y underscore n equals q p caret x underscore n. Then y n n 
Topic 1, 2, 3 is a martingale with respect to x n n 1 2 3 to show this e y n plus 1 x 1 x n equals P Q P X N plus one plus Q Q P X N minus one equals P Q P Q P X N plus Q P Q Q P X N equals Q Q P X N plus P Q P X N equals Q P X N equals Y N display style begin aligned E Y underscore N plus one mid X underscore one dots X underscore N and equals P Q P carrot X underscore N plus one plus Q Q P carrot X underscore N minus one six PT and equals P Q P Q P carrot X underscore N plus Q P Q Q P carrot X underscore N six PT and equals Q Q P carrot X underscore N plus P Q P carrot X underscore N equals Q P carrot X underscore N equals Y underscore N end aligned Polya's urn contains a number of different colored marbles. At each iteration, a marble is randomly selected from the urn and replaced with several more of that same color. For any given color, the fraction of marbles in the urn with that color is a martingale. For example, if currently 95% of the marbles are red, then, though the next iteration is more likely to add red marbles than another color, this bias is exactly balanced out by the fact that adding more red marbles alters the fraction much less significantly than adding the same number of non red marbles would. Likelihood ratio testing in statistics a random variable x is thought to be distributed according either to probability density f or to a different probability density g. A random sample x1 xn is taken. Let yn be the likelihood ratio y n equals i equals 1 n g x i f x i Display style y underscore n equals prod underscore i equals one carrot n frac g x underscore i f x underscore i if x is actually distributed according to the density f rather than according to g, then y n n topic one two three is a martingale with respect to x n n one two three. Suppose each amoeba either splits into two amoebas, with probability p, or eventually dies, with probability 1 minus p, let x n be the number of amoebas surviving in the nth generation in particular x n equals 0 if the population has become extinct by that time, let r be the probability of eventual extinction. Finding r as a function of p is an instructive exercise. 
Hint, the probability that the descendants of an amoeba eventually die out is equal to the probability that either of its immediate offspring dies out, given that the original amoeba has split, then R x n n equals 1 2 3 Display style r caret x underscore n n equals one two three dots is a martingale with respect to x n n equals one two three. In an ecological community, a group of species that are in a particular trophic level, competing for similar resources in a local area, the number of individuals of any particular species of fixed size is a function of discrete time, and may be viewed as a sequence of random variables. This sequence is a martingale under the unified neutral theory of biodiversity and biogeography. If n t t zero is a Poisson process with intensity lambda, then the compensated Poisson process n t minus lambda t t zero is a continuous time martingale with right continuous left limit sample paths. Wald's martingale. Topic. Submartingales, supermartingales, and relationship to harmonic functions There are two popular generalizations of a martingale that also include cases when the current observation xn is not necessarily equal to the future conditional expectation e xn plus 1, x1 xn but instead an upper or lower bound on the conditional expectation. These definitions reflect a relationship between martingale theory and potential theory, which is the study of harmonic functions. Just as a continuous time martingale satisfies e x t x tau, tau s minus x's. Topic. 0 st, a harmonic function f satisfies the partial differential equation delta f. 0 where delta is the Laplacian operator. Given a Brownian motion process w t and a harmonic function f, the resulting process f w t is also a martingale. A discrete time submartingale is a sequence x one x two x three display style x underscore one x underscore two x underscore three l dots of integrable random variables satisfying e x n plus 1 x 1 x n x n display style e x underscore n plus 1 x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n g e q x underscore n Likewise, a continuous time submartingale satisfies E x t x tau tau s x s s t Display style e x underscore t x underscore tau tau l e q s g e q x underscore s quad for all s l e q t. In potential theory, a subharmonic function f satisfies delta f zero. Any subharmonic function that is bounded above by a harmonic function for all points on the boundary of a ball are bounded above by the harmonic function for all points inside the ball. 
Similarly, if a submartingale and a martingale have equivalent expectations for a given time, the history of the submartingale tends to be bounded above by the history of the martingale. Roughly speaking, the prefix sub is consistent because the current observation xn is less than or equal to the conditional expectation e xn plus 1, x1 xn. Consequently, the current observation provides support from below the future conditional expectation, and the process tends to increase in future time. Analogously, a discrete time supermartingale satisfies e x n plus 1 x 1 x n x n display style e x underscore n plus 1 x underscore 1 l dots x underscore n l e q x underscore n Likewise, a continuous time supermartingale satisfies E X T X Tau Tau S X S S T Display style e x underscore t x underscore tau tau l e q s l e q x underscore s quad for all s l e q t. In potential theory, a superharmonic function f satisfies delta f zero. Any superharmonic function that is bounded below by a harmonic function for all points on the boundary of a ball are bounded below by the harmonic function for all points inside the ball. Similarly, if a supermartingale and a martingale have equivalent expectations for a given time, the history of the supermartingale tends to be bounded below by the history of the martingale. Roughly speaking, the prefix super is consistent because the current observation xn is greater than or equal to the conditional expectation e xn plus 1 x1 xn consequently the current observation provides support from above the future conditional expectation and the process tends to decrease in future time topic Examples of submartingales and supermartingales Every martingale is also a submartingale and a supermartingale. Conversely, any stochastic process that is both a submartingale and a supermartingale is a martingale. Consider again the gambler who wins $1 when a coin comes up heads and loses $1 when the coin comes up tails. Suppose now that the coin may be biased, so that it comes up heads with probability p. If p is equal to one half, the gambler on average neither wins nor loses money, and the gambler's fortune over time is a martingale. If p is less than one half, the gambler loses money on average, and the gambler's fortune over time is a supermartingale. If p is greater than one half, the gambler wins money on average, and the gambler's fortune over time is a submartingale. A convex function of a martingale is a submartingale, by Jensen's inequality. For example, the square of the gambler's fortune in the fair coin game is a submartingale, which also follows from the fact that xn2 n is a martingale. Similarly, a concave function of a martingale is a supermartingale. Topic: <laughs> Martingales and stopping times. A stopping time with respect to a sequence of random variables x1, x2, x3 is a random variable tau with the property that for each t, the occurrence or non-occurrence of the event tau equals t depends only on the values of x1, x2, x3 
xt. The intuition behind the definition is that at any particular time t, you can look at the sequence so far and tell if it is time to stop. An example in real life might be the time at which a gambler leaves the gambling table, which might be a function of his previous winnings for example, he might leave only when he goes broke, but he can't choose to go or stay based on the outcome of games that haven't been played yet. In some contexts the concept of stopping time is defined by requiring only that the occurrence or non-occurrence of the event tau equals t is probabilistically independent of xt plus 1, xt plus 2, but not that it is completely determined by the history of the process up to time t. That is a weaker condition than the one appearing in the paragraph above, but is strong enough to serve in some of the proofs in which stopping times are used. One of the basic properties of martingales is that, if x t t greater than 0 display style x underscore t underscore t greater than 0 is a sub super martingale and tau display style tau is a stopping time then the corresponding stopped process x t tau t greater than 0 display style x underscore t caret tau underscore t greater than 0 defined by x t tau equals x min tau t display style x underscore t caret tau equals x underscore min tau t is also a sub super martingale the concept of a stopped martingale leads to a series of important theorems, including, for example, the optional stopping theorem which states that, under certain conditions, the expected value of a martingale at a stopping time is equal to its initial value. See also equals equals notes